welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me for the Beyonce, Jay-Z on the run tour concert. I don't know why I added all that in there. I'm so excited. I've never seen Beyonce in concert before. That has been one of my like dreams. Um, we don't have great seats, but that's okay because like I'd rather sit in outer space like on Mars to watch Beyonce than never have ever seen Beyonce. So I'm gonna take any chance that I can get, okay? But I did not have a video for this week to film for you guys. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna film my getting ready, like my makeup and stuff like that. Um, show you guys what look I did. It's nothing really special. It's very, um, very basic for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and like highlight my shoulders really quick because I forgot. And I'm also in a bit of a rush because I want to eat before we go because we want to go see um, the openers, which I think are like Chloe and Hallie, and I really love their music. So actually, you know what brush I'd love to use for this? It's the KKW Beauty brush because like this round edge, like that gets the short, like the body highlight, like the shoulder highlight, like pop it. I love it. And this is the um, Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter, which I don't think that they sell anymore, but for some reason if it ever comes back just remember desi x katie dose of colors fuego highlighter it is bomb it's one of my favorite highlighters ever anyway so i hope you guys enjoy this video um i'm gonna try and get some footage of the concert i don't know how well it's gonna turn out because like i said our seats are like they they far if you love beyonce just as much as i do then hit the thumbs up if you don't love beyonce then you need to exit out of this video now because i don't have time for people like you okay anyway so i hope you guys enjoy this little get ready with me concert edition beyonce concert edition hope you guys enjoy it let me say i hope you guys enjoy it one more time because i guess i haven't said it enough okay make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do because that'll let me know we like concert get ready with me so then maybe i'll do some more in the future and that is it hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you guys next time all right so i haven't done a voiceover tutorial in a minute but i'm so excited let's go ahead and get started i'm starting off by priming using the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade vanilla and i'm just applying this to my lids and then blending it out with a morphe beauty sponge i'm i already did my brows at this point but i'm just setting the base for the eyeshadow look I'm going to go ahead and set that using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is the one that I normally use, but I also mix in with it a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. So for this look, I started out using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette, and I'm not even sure if these shades have proper names, but I'm just taking the one that's in the upper left corner and using that as kind of like a transition shade. It's just like a nice basic beige shade, and these palettes are literally only like seven bucks, but they're so good. The shadows blend out so well. I really want to do an entire video on Makeup Revolution soon, and I plan on doing it, um, but yeah, so this is just what I'm using it has a bit of like an orange undertone which I love a nice soft peach orange as the transition shade next I'm mixing these two matte shades they both have very warm tones to them they're like very nice like fall orange yellow like I don't I just think of like pumpkins and squashes when I look at these shades because they don't have any names to work with all right so I don't know how to describe them but I'm just using them a little bit on the outer corner and blending them into the crease a bit just to kind of build up that warm tone look so I'm just gonna go in with this burgundy shade from this palette and this was not really working for me so I definitely need to try out the darker shades in this palette a little bit more because for some reason this one just like the pigmentation was not there there and I was using like a pencil brush I was trying to pack it on so I'm just taking what I believe to be the shade Jax and it's like a nice rich deep um, maroon red and I'm just packing this onto my outer corner and starting to build up the intensity a little bit more blending it out with the other shade next I wanted to build up the intensity even more so I'm using the shade soda pop which is a beautiful matte deep plum purple shade and I'm keeping this really really trying to keep it on just the outer corner I don't want to bring this too far in or anything because that's where you can kind of get that like really dark like black eye kind of look um, so I'm really just trying to focus this on the outer corner but I ended up just blending it and it just got a little bit messy and whatever but um, I added on like the shimmer on top which you'll see in a little bit and that kind of makes everything shimmer every everything looks better when there's some shimmer on top okay I'm just gonna say that 
So I then went in with the shade Queen, which is a beautiful golden shade. It's kind of like a foil, just very pigmented, shimmery shade. It glides on really well. So at first, I just applied it with my ring finger. This gives a very gentle, softer finish to the shadow, but I really wanted to amp it up, so I decided to apply it using kind of like a flat eyeshadow brush, and I sprayed it with some primer water, and that gave it just the most beautiful foiled look. Then I just took a makeup remover wipe and kind of cleaned up some of that fallout since I was using some more deeper shades and then I moved on to my face makeup. So what happened is the footage of me applying my foundation like I don't know what happened it was too big of a clip I guess for my um, laptop to handle or something like that but the foundations that I used were the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel and the shade like Golden Medium I think is the shade and then I also used the Dior Forever Perfect and I think that shade is 015. I mixed them together, applied it with the beauty sponge so that's that but um, it also cut out my concealer for a little bit too, with the exception of me like blending it out, but I did use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, same one that I used to um, prime my lids with. I also used the NARS Concealer to kind of clean up my brows a little bit at the top. I'm kind of like indifferent about my brows right now. I kind of want to change them up. I'm not sure like like how exactly I want them to look if I want to go for like a more natural feathery look or like a really clean cut look like I don't I don't know what I want to do with my brows right now so I'm just like trying out a whole bunch of different stuff but for today I just decided to go with the same NARS concealer just kind of cleaning them up with this Morphe brush and that's that's kind of the end of that story I guess to set my face I used this makeup revolution baking powder I think it's called like the luxury baking powder or something like that it's only like eight or nine bucks super inexpensive I got mine at Ulta but it does a really great job. So I just baked my under eyes and while that's baking I just went in with a bronzer. This is from Becca Cosmetics. This is actually a powder foundation in the shade Mocha I think it is. So it's a darker powder foundation but I got it at Marshalls for only like 15 bucks or something like that and I was like okay I can for sure make this work as a bronzer and it actually is amazing. It does such a good job of blending everything out and I really love this shade for like a nice in-between contour and bronzer shade. It just works perfectly so I use this also for my nose contour as well and yes I do bake my nose this is all a part of my nose contour routine I just really like the way that it looks at the moment so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away some of that um, powder from underneath my eyes so that I can go in with some under eye shadow and some blush and not sure why I didn't show what blush I'm using but this is also another Makeup Revolution product this is their blush palette I'll have it linked down below and I think like I used one of the deeper shades in that palette as well but I really like this palette it's super inexpensive and it's very good quality blushes like they're very pigmented and they blend out really nicely so unfortunately I lost the footage of me applying my highlighter and my under eye shadow but I just used the exact same matte shadows for the under eye area and then I applied the Desi X Katie Fuego highlighter to my cheekbones and highlighting is my favorite step so I'm so sad that I lost that footage but enjoy this footage of me applying mascara and fast motion I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I swear this video is not sponsored by Makeup Revolution, but I'm just using tons of their products so that I can do kind of like an in-depth brand review soon. And I'm just using the Iconic Matte Nude Lipstick in the shade Inclination. So that completes this little get ready with me for the Beyonce Jay-Z on the run to tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know in the comment section what your favorite Beyonce or Jay-Z song is. That would be super interesting. So I'm gonna try and throw in a few um, clips from the concert, little vlog clips, and I hope you guys enjoy and that's it. I'll see you guys next time.